What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're doing some Lord Shaq's weekly bounties. That's right, over the weekend we were doing a little bit of bounty cleanup and I had a whole bunch of Lord Shaq's weekly bounties to go ahead and complete and turn in. Ones that were getting up there like 80% done, 90% done, and I'm like, oh man, all I need to do is jump into Rift or something like that and get some primary kills and, well, we ended up going ahead and finishing some of those bounties, starting one completely from scratch, and just turning these in and getting some loot. So that's what we're going to show in this video. I believe we have five of these bounties in total to go ahead and show, so that's pretty nice. And all of the gameplay highlights we show here, just the three of them that we show here, it's going to be in Rift, because Rift was definitely the game mode that we played the most. That was the one where I ended up doing it from scratch on my Warlock. Not exactly sure why I decided to do that whenever I had ones on my Titan and my Hunter. I have ones on my Hunter that are so close to needing to be done. But I decided I was going to play a lot of Rift. And that's kind of interesting <laughs> because I don't think there are that many people that enjoy jumping into Rift. And there's definitely a reason why. Because whenever I was playing the Rift game mode, there aren't a lot of people that pick and play Rift. And at that time, there was definitely, definitely... A six person team that was in there running around and because there weren't that many people that were playing Rift I got matched up against that six person team several times and it was no fun anytime we got absolutely steamrolled every time I mean it wasn't even remotely close Rift is a game mode where if you've got a team and if you're going up against blueberries forget it you're gonna wipe the floor with them so that was definitely very, very difficult, and I can understand why people don't jump into the Rift play mode if they don't rock out a big full fire team of people to go ahead and play with. But it is fun to go ahead and get those Rift kills like this breaker on the Rift. I like it. I do like that. <laughs> that is a lot of fun. And I actually do have a lot of fun as a runner. I would pick to be a runner all the time. I think I'm fairly decent at running. The problem is whenever you have to go do Lord Shax's weekly bounties, Really, none of those involve being the runner, unfortunately. Which I guess makes a little bit of sense because you can only be a runner once. Only one out of the six people on each team. So actually, one out of 12 people in the match total can be a runner each time the spark jumps in. So I can understand why that's not exactly a thing, but I still feel like it should be. But I'm actually curious, if you save up these Lord Shaq's weekly bounties, just unintentionally, do you ever jump into the game modes like Supremacy or Rift or things like that and play them whenever they're not up for their weekly bounties because I feel like some of those game modes get neglected a little bit. I feel like we see a lot of control in Clash for sure, but I don't think that many people jump into Supremacy or Rift, though I do kind of enjoy Supremacy. I do. That frantic pace of it is a lot of fun, especially if you're on for the night. If you're off a little bit and your shots are off, forget it. That game mode can be super frustrating because people are flying around everywhere. And here we are on our Warlock, we're going to turn in our first bounty for Clash, and we got an Unending Deluge, which is actually pretty awesome. Turning in our Supremacy one, we got nothing. Well, that just means that we ended up getting, apparently, another heavy weapon, so we'll go ahead and check out our Postmaster for that. First off, Unending Deluge. I actually have one that I really like, and it's pretty much like the Corrective Measure, which is an amazing machine gun. This one has Taken E, which actually... I've seen some people go ahead and use on other heavy machine guns, and they seem to like it. But I like my particular version much better, so we're going to delete that. And as far as the one that went directly to the Postmaster, it was a Steel Oracle. So this rocket launcher, it's got blast radius for days, but no velocity. I mean, soft launch would help it out, but overall, I'm much happier with the rocket launchers I already have. And again, I said we did a bounty from scratch, and that was a Rift bounty. So we're on our Warlock again, and we're going to turn in this Rift bounty and get an Obsidian Mine. So there we go, one exotic and Obsidian Mine for our Warlock. And I actually put on an Obsidian Mine because I was just getting the level up experience on it. And actually the one that I pulled out is slightly better. And I mean slightly better, two points of discipline better. And because I like those stats, I'm probably going to end up going ahead and keeping this one and dismantling the one that I was just leveling up. <laughs> oh, man. Now moving on to our Titan. We've got one bounty completed for Clash. Again, I needed some primary kills. Turning that in, we get another exotic, the Dune Marchers. So these are new Titan exotic boots. Basically, they're all about making you run faster. And I definitely have several pairs of Dune Marchers. So the ones that I got 
are just slightly worse, though they are intellect discipline, which seems to be a nice thing on a titan. Overall, not bad. They are really shiny here in this preview, though. Must be that shader or something. Something was going on with them. And finally, we had yet another Titan Bounty to go ahead and turn in. It was a Rift one. I needed primary kills. I got them. And boom, we turn them in and get a third exotic. No backup plans. There we go. Now, the ones that I have are 90 strength. I'm going to keep mine over this one. But that's it. Five Lord Shacks weekly bounties turned in. Three more exotics from those. Do these have a ridiculous chance of dropping exotics or what? Am I just getting really lucky? Because I recall I got a bunch of exotics last time as well. So Lord Shax is giving with those exotics. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your shacks, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag 3 out of 5.